All right, so welcome back. Today in this video, we are going to be continuing our geotechnical engineering section of the civil FE exam review, and we're going to be looking at effective stress. So I have a few practice problems for you all that I want to go through. These are not super complicated, but um, they will bring into effect some of the concepts that they're going to be wanting you to be able to know and understand on your exam. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so number one says, based on the following uh, information, what is the effective stress of the soil? So your total stress is equal to 150 kPa and your pore water pressure is equal to 30 kPa. So what information do they give us? Well, they give us the total stress. And they give us the pore water pressure okay and we're asked to find the effective stress all right so i'm going to look up and search effective stress so that's what we're trying to find all right when i do that three things come up all right effective stress this is actually in the geotech section. So it says effective stress uh, is equal to uh, this symbol prime. I think that's normal stress minus uh, stress minus uh, U. Okay, so what do these symbols mean? Because if we don't know what the symbols mean, it's not very helpful to us. Okay, so. See if they tell us what those symbols mean somewhere. Hmm. Oh, it does not. So total, total vertical stress, effective vertical stress. So um, total stress is gonna be your regular, I think it's sigma, or I don't know that symbol. I'm gonna call it sigma. Uh, but the that symbol is your total stress. Now your effective stress is gonna be your, that symbol prime, okay? So, I'll just write that out for us. This symbol is going to be total stress. All right. This symbol that has the prime in front of it is going to be your effective stress. All right. What about U? U is the uh, poor water pressure. So you pour water pressure. Kind of had to go hunting and digging for that. All right, so going back to our equation. So um, my, so this is saying effective stress is equal to uh total stress minus pore pressure okay so do i have total stress yes do i have a uh, water pressure poor water pressure yes so we can we know that we can solve for this now so the formula we need is sigma prime minus is equal to sigma minus u Okay, where uh, sigma prime is equal to was uh, sigma or total stress, it's 150 kPa, and then minus our poor water pressure, right? That's U, minus 30. And so 
when we solve that we get 120 kpa or d hey everybody i know i didn't take time to formally introduce myself at the beginning so i did want to let you know who i am and how i can best serve you as you're studying for your civil fe exam so my name is james huntley and i am a civil engineer who has helped hundreds of individuals pass and dominate their civil fe exam now i know this test is tough and as you're going through material you may be saying Ugh, i don't remember learning this stuff or gosh these variables are so confusing or you just feel like you're really really busy and there's so much material that you need to go through that it's a bit overwhelming. So I did want to let you know that I do help and work with individuals one-on-one -on -one to ensure that they pass their civil FE exam. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for 10 weeks, and that's the longest that it has been. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for two weeks. And we went back to back day after day after day, hours on hours on hours, putting in the work, um, working together to ensure that they went ahead and passed. Right. And this exam is so important because I know that you want to make more money. Um, I know that you want to, you know, get some promotions and be able to further your career and have your PE. So definitely want to open and extend a hand out want to be able to save you time right because i know some people that watch my videos you may have been watching my videos for six nine even 12 months and you still haven't passed your civil fe exam and that is the one thing that's keeping you from making more income more impact and furthering your career so it's definitely costing you um, money resources everything so looking to create more success stories um, i am looking to work with individuals one-on-one -on -one. i want to hop on zoom with you i want you to share what you're doing as you're solving these problems so i can spot out what you may be struggling with and open your eyes so that you're not going into this test completely blind now for some of you you may have failed a test once twice had some people fail five times um, or you may be wanting to take this test initially and you just want to make sure that you pass it up front so do have one-on-one -on -one services i also have some uh, do-it-yourself uh, courses that if you're like no i got this i got it all on my own i know everything or i i'm gonna take the time to study everything i do have some resources and materials to be able to help you in that way. But my biggest fear is that you're investing in something, uh, these programs or these courses, and you know, you're not uh, getting back or having proper feedback to help you and to push you forward. You're just giving a bunch of information and no one's sharing with you what you may be actually struggling with or what's keeping you from passing your FE exam. So looking to create a ton of success stories. So feel free um, down in the description box below. I have a ton of resources, including one-on-one -on -one coaching. Let's hop on a call. Uh, it's no cost to you as far as, you know, us talking through your goals and what you're trying to do um, and kind of getting a feel for where you're at. Um, so have some programs where I can work with you one-on-one. -on -one. And there's also some do it yourself courses, practice exams, study guides, resources, free material, all of that down in the description box below. So feel free to check out that stuff. If you like the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. This is what I do. Um, we want to get you to the next phase of your civil engineering career um, and leave a comment if you had any questions about um, what I went through, the information that I covered, um, and feel free to um, definitely schedule a call with me and looking forward to creating more success stories. So 
Be sure to check out this next video.